Welcome to another episode of Press A to Start. With the launch of the Wii U not far away, depending on when you're watching this video, um, I'm going to take a quick look at a couple of racing games that came out on the Wii over the years. First we're going to have a look, quick look at Neep Speed Carlin. And we're also going to look at Mario Kart Wii and Excite Truck. So we're just going to have a quick race in each of the racing games just to show off how different they are. Um, in this game you choose a crew member that can help you in the race. So we need the nunchuck. Shows how long I've played this game. Um, we'll have a quick look to see what are the control options because with some early Wii games it had multiple controls. We're going to swap it back to the Wii Remote one and see how that goes. Um, this is an early Need for Speed game on the Wii, so the controls are a little bit, a little bit rusty. Um, there's Nitrous. And there's a feature that I haven't seen in the Need for Speed game in a while, is the, the slowing down time, unfortunately. Yes, the controls in Need for Speed have got much better. The crew member on my team can search out um, shortcuts. Although um, Need for Speed Carbon is still much better than Need for Speed Pro Street, which um, both came out on the way.
Um, there are also things you can hit to cause obstacles on the game, which have always been somewhat dodgy in these speed games. Um, the main campaign has police um, patrolling. I'll show you one of these items. That's just knocked over the donut thing, so that will cause some chaos for them. If I get a chance, I'll try and show the slow motion. Okay. And now we're slowing down time, gives us a chance if we need to suddenly make any last minute decisions. And it doesn't come much handy in races, but avoiding the cops comes in handy. Um, overall, a little bit similar to Underground and Underground 2, you know, all nighttime races. Has the open world elements of the second Underground game. And there you go. That was a quick look at Need Speed Carbon on the Wii. Um, apologies about the controls, but it's been a couple of years since I played this. Right, so we're going to take a quick look at Excite Truck, which you can use the Wii, Wii wheel for. Um, overall, the controls are better in Excite Truck than New for Speed. But with the update on the Wii U on launch day, you'll be able to play um, Wii games. You just go to a thing called the Wii menu on the Wii U menu. And you'll be able to select the Wii menu and it goes back to this old menu you see here. So you'll be able to play all these games still. Um, Excite Truck is one of the few games, if not the only game, the only game I've got where you could have used custom soundtracks if you had an SD card. And um, we'll have a quick look to see if I've still got any custom soundtracks, but it's been a while, um, 2006, so this is an early Wii game. And as I is from the UK, we'll be looking at a level from Scotland. Um, as you race through, there are plenty of different trucks. Also, there are custom uh, alternative and colors. Okay, usually you just pause and you go down to SD card. Unfortunately, I haven't got an SD card with music in at the moment. So, normal Wii steering, similar to uh, Mario Kart Wii, usual accelerator. Uh, there is a turbo, but as you can see, if I use the turbo, it will, my engine will heat up, and if it overheats, then I'm in trouble. The main hook of this game was the ability to change the landscape through hitting certain switches. And there was a sequel called Excitebots, uh, unfortunately you never saw a European release, so we're unable to look at that today. And you can also do stunts, but I've forgotten. There you go. Just 
look at the remote. And power makes you get it super turbo. Also, you have to balance the lamp. And you get stars, which adds to your, your score from drifting, stunts, as you can see, get air. There are also hoops to jump through. And you can cool the engine down by going through water. Um, the landscape can change quite a bit. There's also a two-player split screen, um, but unfortunately, like most Wii games, there is not an online mode. But looking for our next game, Mario Kart Wii, there is an online mode. So, oh, when you crash, you have to tap through quick, the two button quickly to recover. Um, the Wii game has got, the Mario Kart Wii has got online. So we'll have a look at the online mode for that. Oh, that was my best score so far. Right, we'll take a look at Mario Kart Wii now. Um, also for Mario Kart Wii, they made a Mario Kart channel, so you can see leaderboards and there's monthly challenges like Go around this track that we've added ramps to in a certain time or do one of the race tracks in reverse You get the usual battle mode, race mode, time trials. Apologies for the delay here, we've had some internet problems here. There we go. Um, you have you just search by worldwide continent, then you're going to race or bat mode. Um, also, you can look to see, check your friends' rooster or create a room, so you can play with friends as well. Um, looking at friend codes have gone in the Wii U, so we're able to focus more on not having the pain of linking up. Accounts, we'll go for Mario. Uh, as always, there's a selection of cards and there's a voting system online for what map you play. Uh, manual. Um, in Mario Kart Wii, automatic and manual means how you drift. Do you want to do the drift yourself or do you want it to do it for you? I always go for manual drift. 
There we go, we found some players across the world. So we'll have a quick look at a race and then a battle mode. Logan of America, we online, you can join in any time and if there's a race already going, you'll just watch um, the live stream of it. Which is quite handy and much better than some other racing games where you just end up sitting in a lobby looking at a screen full of names. Uh, it's up to 12 players online. Um, there's 32 tracks. There's half of them are new tracks, half are old tracks. And I say old tracks, they've been redone. Um, usual rare weapons, there's a couple of new ones, um, Mega Mushrooms that make it bigger, the POW or POW blocks that shakes everyone, and um, a slightly annoying one, a, a lightning cloud, and when you get that you need to touch someone else to pass the cloud onto them before it shrinks them. And you can also race as your me as well. And you can play this with um, the normal Wii Remote setup with a nunchuck, a classic controller, and a Nintendo GameCube control. Unfortunately, in the Wii U, you won't be able to use the GameCube control because there are no GameCube slots. Control. Um, not many racing games for the Wii U launch. After looking back at these ones, there's only going to be, so far I've seen Mario, um, I've seen Sonic Transformed, um, but, and there's this the small F-Zero one in Nintendo Land. But I'm sure we'll get a, a Mario Kart game at some point. My favourite track, which is Donkey Kong's DK Mountain. See, so yeah, everyone votes for a level, and then it'll choose one. There we go. The Ruby Circuit. Um, you know, sometimes there'll be like a statue or something that'll take one of your Mii's from your console and make it into a statue. It's the new Mega Mushroom one, alright? But it's got the usual green shells and speed mushrooms and star and everyone's not brave of one. The old blue shell of doom. It's the blue 
so. Uh, most Mario Kart tracks have some shortcuts, some bigger than others. Not this there. Well, I was unlucky. Um, usually what item you get depends on what position. Usually you give the lightning and the blue shell to the person at the back. And as always, it's frustrating to get passed by quite a few people at the end. But... Right, we'll take a quick look at the battle mode now. And point system... It just it goes up if you do well, it goes down if you do bad, depending on how high your score is to start with. Okay, which is worldwide. And we'll show off what it's like to have a me as your driver. Um, this is the wheel wheel we will set up if you haven't seen it. It's just the Wii with the Wii remote in. Um, this is the official one, there are some non official ones, but they're they're pretty bad. Um with Wii on the back, if you can see it. Looks like we've got a full room for this one. And um, battle mode is the balloons and um, the coin one as well. Balloons, you just want to get rid of the other players' balloons, and as you can see here from this live stream, um, We've got the coin one where you just got to pick up as many coins as you can. If someone hits you with an item, you drop coins. That just happens to Toadette here. Also, Mario Kart Wii has motorbikes, but I'll be honest, I'm not keen on the handling. Um, once again, similar to the racetracks, there's a mixture of classic levels just redone with the new engine and new levels. Um, all the tracks, the old ones, are taken from both the console versions of America and the portable ones that run the DS, the Game Boy Advance. I flick through to see different characters. There's someone using a me as a me, you just get the basic cast or bike. Cooper. You see characters from um, the Galaxy series are in here as well. Right, here we go. This will be bottom of the level, and then it'll tell us which one it is.
we're going for a classic, the N64 skyscraper level. Let's see, but who's going to win? Skyscraper's down there three times, so it is quite a popular course. Okay, we're going to Cookie Land from the GameCube version. It's just a level. Looks like a giant cookie. Okay, it's blue mode. We've all got three balloons. And um, we're in teams as well. The glow around like the bananas or two. What team put them down? Um, a simple circuit round course, but it gets pretty manic, as you can see. Um, as you can tell already, even though this is early afternoon, Mario Kart Wii is still popular, even though the Wii U has come out as well. So a lot of people play it online. Once you lost all your balloons, you lose the points, but you come back with three new ones. You can also look back with you by, with the A button. You can get Mario here. Yep. Little whack in the corner so you can know where to find it one. There we go. Are we one? Yahoo! Okay, that was a quick look at um, three racing games that were on the Wii. And um, we had a look at Need for Speed, Carbon, Excite Truck, and Barricat Wii. Thank you for joining me on this other episode of Press A to Start.